Hey everyone, and welcome to Port Hardy. I'd like to show everyone a trip that's different from the usual aviation content. Most of you know already that there's a mandatory quarantine for 14 days if you return back from travel outside of Canada due to COVID-19. Most people have taken advantage of exploring the country and to see parts they've never visited before. I've always wanted to take the ferry from Port Hardy to Prince Hubert, but never really found the time to do so. In doing my research for this trip, there was minimal details into what I wanted to know. So hopefully I covered everything there is to know during this duration of this trip. Our ferry today is a northern adventure. It was built in Greece in 2004 for international shipping partners, then purchased by BC Ferries in 2006. Foot passengers may now board the northern adventure by way of the foot passenger walkway. Please have your boarding pass and photo ID ready. All vehicle drivers and passengers, please return to your vehicles in preparation for loading. Drivers, all drivers. This trip will take 17 hours and 45 minutes through the inside passage along the central coast of BC, with one stop in Bella Bella. The sailing left one hour and 45 minutes late due to cleaning, but we made up the time during the sailing. <clears throat> All right, so here we are in the room, and just to get this out of the way, and I don't have to record an awkward voiceover, uh, I will show you the cabin tour. So here's the main door. Just FYI, it swings inward towards you. Um, I was a little confused with that when I got my, when I got in. So closets, or here it is a closet where you can put all your belongings. There's also another closet where I'm hanging my jacket. Uh, no clothes hangers available. Life jackets are are on top of the cabins here. And here is the whole cabin. Oddly enough, a, a little bit spacious for single occupancy, no big deal. There's a little desk right here. And just FYI, when you get your, um, when you get your keys for the room, they're just like, just regular card keys, just like a hotel. This boat was made in Greece in 2004. And obviously being in Greece, they only have Euro European plugs available. They did manage to put one regular uh, outlet right here. Just one singular uh, 120 volt. But this one is still in European style. But if you're smart enough, you came prepared and brought your own converter so you can use that. It's actually a plug there. Carrying on, um, you got a little heater right here. It's very set to 21 degrees. It was actually fairly warm when it came in here. No big deal. Um, here are the bunks. Oh, two coat hooks available, which is nice. Uh, two bunks available with a night light at each bunk. Is nice nice great view we haven't left yet but we will be leaving fairly soon uh, there's a curtain available and there doesn't look like there's any kind of something that could keep you from falling off the bunk no well I wouldn't say no big deal but uh oh folds up how about that there you go give yourself a bit more a bit more room 
There's two ladders here in case if you need help getting on top of the bunk. And I will show you the washroom. It's glad to have an individual washroom and something communal, especially during all these COVID times. Sandra sink, soap, mirror, hi, um, hair dryer, and thank God they supplied some towels. I did not feel, feel like bringing my own towels on board. And your standard shower, so it's all kind of one space, so I'll kind of flow it here. Very similar to a train washroom, which I thought, I think is pretty cool. Very, very reasonable price. And again, uh, nothing special. Um, no fridge available, which kind of sucks. I'm, I did uh, bring my own food. And unfortunately, I was not lucky enough to get a luxury room which might have a fridge and it does have a TV and a little kind of living space but I guess that can be done for next time and I'm just happy I can show this all you guys because there's no half decent reviews out there so let's take a look around the boat unlike the northern expedition there are not too many amenities on this ferry There is a gift shop, but it was only open for 45 minutes toward the end of the sailing. Due to COVID, there is extremely limited options in terms of food available on board. There is distant seating, but I took advantage of the mild weather and had some nice views during dinner. After a decent sleep, it was time for breakfast. I should note that dining is only available for a limited time during this sailing due to COVID. Definitely a bit overpriced, but you have to actually take my word for it. It was pretty good.
This trip is definitely better to take during the summer as the sailing is a day cruise and not an overnight trip. During that time it was easier to spot wildlife in the water and on the coast. It's also great to take in the beautiful views that BC has to offer. And before we leave today, I wanted to show everyone the car deck. It wasn't made in BC Ferry's best interests and needs, so there's only one way in and one way out of the ferry, unlike the rest of the fleet. So if you have a car, you have to make a U-turn when you leave. And if you have a trailer, you have to back it down the ferry ramp and onto the boat. So in the end, I enjoyed this trip a lot even though there wasn't much to offer due to COVID restrictions. It was very laid back and I took it easy and enjoyed the ride and the views. I would definitely like to take this trip again in the opposite direction on the northern expedition when everything returns back to normal. Again guys, thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this review, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you around in the next video.